Good afternoon, Mr. Alibang and the rest of the third year best IT Black Bond. We are the group three presenting to you the inventory management application together with a quick demonstration to be tackled by Mr. Malyar. And the rest of the team will discuss to you the background of the application, features of the application, and the system processes. So let's start. May I call on Ms. Kison to discuss the background of the project? Ms. Kison, please. Thank you. I'm Andrea Faye Quison. The background of the project inventory management system are you can monitor your transaction at brand, category, and products. Thank you, Ms. Kison. May I call on Mr. Silvano to discuss to you the features? Mr. Silvano, please. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Palovis. I'm Carlo J, and I will discuss to you the features of the application. The, feature, the features are as follows. Word on the brand, category, and product. In this module, they'll be able to create a product so as to delete it or to update it from the system. They can also monitor transaction and log out the admin. Thank you, Mr. Silvano. May I call on Mr. Dorante to tackle to you the system processes. Thank you, Mr. Bisperas. I will tackle about the system processes. First, you can add brand and category, and from the product, it added brand and category. After that, they will be populated from the add quantity of stocks in transactions. You will able to to monitor the transactions of the admin and the logging out of your system. Thank you, Mr. Dorante. May I call on Mr. Maliari to present to us the demonstration of the inventory management application. Mr. Maliari, please. Good day, sir. As we click on the application, we will be directed into the login module where we can uh, put our username and our password. So if everything is said, we can uh, press the login button. Then we will be directed to the main menu of the application. In this main menu, we have three icons. The first icon is manage inventory. The second icon is view inventory. And the last one is view transaction. We also have this icon in the lower right corner of the application, which is the logout button. So uh, that logout button will be tackled later on on this uh, presentation. First, the manage inventory. The manage inventory consists of a carousel view and also of uh, uh, four buttons. The first button is a home button, which will be directed to the main menu. Then the category, brand, and product button. So in this section, we will be able to add uh, categories, brands, and products. For example, we will be adding uh, accessories, accessories as a category. We can also add a category description, and we can also not add. It depends on the admin. But for now, we will not be adding. So we will now press the, uh, the add button. Now the category is created. Same goes with the brand. Now we will be putting, uh, uh, we will be putting brand like X Park like that. Came through with the brand description. Then add brand created. Now we will be moving on to the product part. Here we can see a spinner, two spinners, which is category and brand spinner. In this category, whatever we added into the category and brand uh, module it will be shown here as a choice. For example, we have added uh, a while ago is accessories and in brands, we have added export. So now we will be adding a product, uh, shifters. Shifters, product description, we can put color black. Uh, we can put on accessories maybe, Shimano, export. We, then the quantity is, 10, for example, and the price is 1,500, for example. 
then we will put on the add button. And uh, again, uh, the cancel button here serves as a clear text where if we added some values in it, if we press on the cancel button, it will erase. Same through as with the category and the brand module. Now we will be going to the view category, view inventory to view all the things that we have added. First is the view category. We have added the accessories. There is it, the accessories. Same goes with the brand. The X part is already right there. And also the view product. Now we can also edit and delete the the things that we have added. For example, in category, we, we only need to select something that we desire. For example, we will be deleting or editing this www. Now we will be editing, we're gonna put something like, like that, like that. Then edit. If we view it again, we can also see it that it is already edited. Now we are going to delete it. View it again, it is already not there. Same through as with the brand if we edit it. But for now, I will not be, ah, okay, I will demonstrate it. So I will be putting, oh wait, uh, this one, Rhinos. Edit, brand, delete. Now it's not there already. In the product, same goes it. In this product uh, module, we can only see the product name, the quantity, and the price. These things are the only things that can be edited. For example, we'll turn this quantity into like 20 and the price 2000. Right, the keyboard edit, we'll view it there. The, the quantity is 20 and the price is 2000. Now we are going to delete it. For example, this uh, fork frame rhinos 10, 2500. We're go going to delete it. Now we'll view it, it's not already there. Now we're done with the view inventory. Next is the last part, is the view transaction. In this module, we can see all the transaction that has been done and it is like that. The layout is like that. And the last part is the logout button. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Maliari. And thank you guys for presenting to us the application of inventory management, of inventory management application. Thank you so much.